Welcome folks, I hope everyone is cool. So in this video I will talk about the water block. Everything I will talk about the water block, it's just my opinion and my experience. Okay. So I don't want any controversy over here. If you want to take this, you can. If you don't like it, just skip it. Okay. But here I will show you the way I mark my water block. And I will explain when I actually look for the highest or lowest up close body or down close body and when i actually look for the consecutive order block so i believe that after this video if you watch until the end uh, there will be a clear idea about the water block the way i mark it okay for uh, explaining the water block i just pick a price section and i will just explain it it's all hindsight and because I do the live, so I explain the word block most of the time in my life as I'm gonna make a video, that's why I'm just using the previous price section. I will talk about over here. Uh, for example, in that day I was bearish, and uh, yeah, I was just bearish, so I will look for a setup over here. I'm not going any other time frame, I'll just explain the order block things only. Okay, so you can see market actually went higher and it has taken some liquidity around that area. So it has taken all of these relatively equal highs over here. So that is liquidity taken. First, I need to see the 22 YT model. So market has taken the liquidity. This is the last time when market has taken the extreme liquidity. Okay. So after taking this liquidity, just look at the reaction. I called it immediate reaction. After just taking the highest consolidation, it went lower. When it broke lower, you can see this swing low is shifted then this swing low is shifted after that here and also here you have a lot of confusion about the market structure shift which one is actually the market structure shift so i have actually made a video according the market structure shift you will get it from my youtube channel if you are interested you can watch that i will put the link to the description and also at the end of the video you will get it at the end screen okay which one is actually the market structure shift now this is not my market structure shift this is valid for shifting market structure over here this one is not valid for i mean this swing low is not valid for shifting market structure also this is not valid market structure shift this is also valid market structure shift and this is the valid market structure shift so i'll go with this one i don't need that one after shifting the market structure remember i'm just gonna explain the order block only but for that i need to explain from the beginning when i got the market structure shift first i have to look for the farewell gap where is my farewell gap so there is my farewell gap as i have the only one farewell gap i will go with the 22 yt model so market trade that farewell gap then it went lower now when market has traded that farewell gap then i will start to look for the order block as market i was bearish so i will look for the up close body over here you can see this is the highest up close body so this is the low of that up close body i'm gonna mark it as my order block level so that is called the order block i go for the opening as well so any of this level is my water block level okay you can see market went lower tap to that water block perfectly broke lower okay this is the place where i actually look for the water block i don't look for water block over here or any other place i first need to see market has taken some liquidity i'm gonna give you the bearish example so you will understand vice versa that means the bullish example you have to find it out okay this is the same thing market has taken some liquidity went lower give me the market structure shift then it has traded that farewell gap after trading the farewell gap then i will look for the order block now the highest up close body candle when the next candle will break the low of that up close body candle okay you can see this candle closed below that low i don't need the um, i mean i don't count if it closed below that opening I need to see did it close below that candle okay from week to week so below that candle when it will close below that candle then i will mark this level and that level as my order block level at the same time i will mark the consecutive i mean mean threshold level that is the 50 percent of that order block so here is the mean threshold 
of that order block. The rule is market should not go above that mean threshold. Even if market would go above the mean threshold, the body has to close at the level of mean threshold or below the mean threshold. Okay, the body has to close. But you can see over here, market actually trade the order block, it fall. It never reach until that mean threshold or the opening. It is also possible and this is the starting of the order block level and in my opinion the opening is the end of the order block level then this is the mean threshold market can reach until that most of the time you don't see that this is the beginning of the order block now there is two type of two type of order block okay the highest up close body candle and the consecutive candle that means you can say one two three four five six seven seven candle in a row so all of these candles are called consecutive order block level so if you just mark this low as your order block it is also valid okay this is also valid so over there and over here okay so this two level is also valid as a order block if you go for that consecutive order block market has to close i mean it has to close below that level okay below here you can see market actually closed over there then very next candle trade that opening market went a little lower come back again to that level then it fall one more thing i have to explain over here the way i actually go for the order block look this candle this candle is the first candle which has closed below now where exactly it closed see this closing i'm gonna mark this closing on my left so it has closed below this candle so when it has closed below this candle then one two three four this four candle will be my consecutive order block that means i will go this high or the opening of that candle so over here that is the opening these two level will be my consecutive order block i am not going to look for the last three candle because this candle actually closed below one two three four below four candle okay now if this candle just close be close below that candle i will just mark that one as my water block so if i don't see any reaction over here market went lower i will expect market will at least trade to that candle okay because this candle when it closed it closed below that low so this four candle is my consecutive order block or i will just mark them as my water block this is how I actually mark the water block and in that type of situation I will mark the mean threshold from this candle to that candle okay so this will be my mean threshold level that means I don't want to see market will close above that mean threshold again guys this is all my experience or the way I actually uh, read the price this is the way okay so don't make any kind of controversy this is only my experience and the way i read the price this is the part of that i don't want to talk about the water block because ict told that we some people actually spreading the misconcept about his water block so yeah i don't want to i mean <laughs> i don't want to you know spread the misconcept but yeah i saw most of the time this is how market work and i go for the water block by like that so over here sometimes you will ask brother is there any water block or not no i don't see the water block over here because the water block will happen here not there because this is the 22 yt model created around that area this leg has traded the fair value gap so i was looking for the price from here and i was looking first the fair value gap trading i'm not looking for the i mean this this candle will be used as a water block no i don't see like that way for example you can see this is the consecutive water block and price traded that water block right no this is not my order block in a short period of time or in this small price action my order block will be here so i will go for that water block around that area this two level is actually my order block and you can see how beautifully market just tap to that low then it falls if i go for the consecutive order block or i decide when which candle i'm gonna mark as my order block and the way i see this candle close then i actually mark my order block if i was trading around that area then my order block would be here so that would be my order block so this candle uh 
low and the opening of that candle so these two level would be my order block and i would go for the mean threshold for that consecutive order block not only this candles 50 percent the consecutive order blocks from here to the last uh up close body okay if there was a i mean sorry a uh, bear candle just for example here all of the candle is the bull candle but if there was a bear candle for example this was a bear candle or the black candle then i wouldn't look for the consecutive order block because the serial will be broken in that type of situation okay so in that type of situation this is the only candle which will be my order block maybe this candle okay one two this candle was a bear candle okay then i would see these two candle would be my order block i wouldn't look for from here so you have to understand the fact as here all of this candle are bull candle so from here to here that is the consecutive order block i define this candle because i saw the bear candle actually close below that candle that's why i went until that level but if there is any any time if you see another candle then that is the break of the order block so you have to look for the upper candles as your consecutive order block or you will just look for the last candle as your consecutive order block it will depend uh, on the bear candle okay so and obviously this is vice versa if i can find another example it would be better but as i was uh, I, I was just thinking that just make an order block video so that people will be little clear about that and you some of you guys actually ask me to make some videos about the block for example order block mediation block maybe the rejection block i thought okay let's make a video about the order block first so in short what is the order block ha first market has to take some buy sell liquidity then it has to give you a market structure shift that has to be valid market structure shift if that is a valid market structure shift then you will wait until the price trade that farewell gap if market doesn't don't trade that farewell gap which you actually expecting should be traded depending on the 22 white model then you have no order block but if market can trade that farewell gap which you are expecting to be traded then you will start to look for the order block which one is going to be a order block if there is lot of bull candle in a serial in a series then the whole series will be a consecutive order block otherwise and you will actually define your exact order block by seeing the down close candles close okay where the the close i mean candle closed where the candle will close then you will look for the up close body candle which i mean you know you understand what is my fact i mean what i i am just trying to explain if you don't understand please let me know to the comment box because this is very crucial okay this down close candle where did it close here exactly i will start to look for the up close body candle exactly which candles below it has closed i can see this down close candle closed below that candle so from one two three four this four candle will be my consecutive order block and i won't expect that market will trade the highest up close body uh, close candle okay it is not going to trade that instead of that it will just trade that candle because this candle has closed below that candle so that opening and the low of that week will be my order block exit my order block i hope guys it will help you a little if you have still confusion i try to make it more clear so if you have still confusion let me know to the comment box and then i will decide should i make another video or not okay so I hope you will enjoy this video and if you like it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So until the next video, cheers guys.